is getting its newly developed laser flashlights in the hands of first responders. Senior reporter John Palminteri has seen the light up close and he shows us how it's being used. What is becoming the future of light for illumination and communication is being crafted in Goleta using laser chips smaller than a grain of rice. We're taking these special laser chips and we're making extremely bright white light sources out of them that can generate 100 times the brightness of LED for 10 times the range, one-tenth the size. The Kyocera SLD laser will have big applications, but you might have seen the efficiency recently, not long after some of the company's flashlights were used by Santa Barbara County firefighters. Recently, there was a car that went over a cliff in, in Isla Vista, and the, the light actually cuts through smoke, cuts through fog and water, so it creates great visibility, you know, enhancing safety and, and really helping uh, in the mission to, to save lives. The company has its roots coming out of UC Santa Barbara with honored inventors who have spent years creating a lighter, stronger, and cost-effective light that will have high-speed communication capabilities. And look what it does in vehicles. It's a key component to top-end off-road racers, and it was tested in a race outside of Las Vegas. And you can see what that beam does for the driver. It gives them that fantastic visibility. And they're, they're going like 100 miles an hour, you know, in a 1,000 horsepower off-road truck. The largest combination of laser lights put together in one unit are at work in harbors like Port Wainimi and replace the older and inefficient lights we have seen for years at lighthouses. And they're expensive and they're unsafe. You can replace it with like a 20-pound light fixture that has long lifetime and it's safe. The general public will not only be able to purchase these lights soon in the form of smaller flashlights, but they're expected to be built into the newest smart cars for interior and exterior lighting through tubes and fibers and provide high-speed communication for the vehicle's performance, driverless safety scanning, and the driver's personal devices. Well, our light sources can do all of that. They can sense and communicate all in a single, compact, very small and efficient module. In Goleta, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmenteri. The Food Bank of Santa Barbara County will host a picnic in the park for its eighth straight year this summer. The Food Bank is giving kids 18 and younger the opportunity to come out to local parks and grab a free meal. This year, because of COVID-19, drive through service is available. Families may also walk up and receive their lunches. The meals change every day, but the nutrition stays the same, incorporating a protein, fruit, and milk. For more information on where to find the closest park with a free meal, text Summer Food, and here's a number you want to write down, 877-877. Again, that's 877-877. Or you can visit our mobile app or KUIT.com.